Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Last time we left off, we were just continuing on, continuing on the investigation of um, what happened last night. Uh, according to Bikini, she said that she thought she saw Iris killing her, but that's just kind of hard to believe, you know, knowing the type of girl Iris is according to our findings so far and from what other people say about her. She doesn't seem bad at all, but you know, then again, we never know. We thought the same thing about Dahlia, but, well, look at her. Look how she turned out. Ugh. In any case, uh, before I actually move uh, move out of here, um, I forgot to go ahead and take a look at some pieces of information here, like the weather data. Um, I told totally everybody I can actually look more, into it, look, look more into it. So, Eagle Mountain weather data for February 7th. Snow, occasional lightning strikes, and that was my phone, that would be, I have the law and order thing going on just because, uh, yeah, for the hell of it. <laughs> uh, snow, 7 to approximately, 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m., so that's how long it's snowed for. Lightning, 10 to approximately 11. All right. So there's a good 10 minutes of not lightning and snow, but whatever. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes passed between the fires starting and going out. Okay. We're probably going to need to know that. And then the note to Iris, uh, I think we can check this out a little bit. To Iris Ahazakura Temple. Salutation, salutation here. There is something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on. So, I mean, like I said, those are only two things I wanted to show off. Uh, I didn't do it before, so let's go ahead and back to the main gate. Continuing continuing this investigation. I cannot speak today. I just got out of work. Maybe I'm just a little tired, but I, w I wanted to record at least one or two episodes, you know, so I can have a little bit more of a consistent upload rate than what's been happening like the past month. Ugh. Oh well. Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a psycho lock. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn on my side. Oh jeez. Uh hmm. Where to now? There's no one no one here I can talk to. Uh I'll examine that thing later. Hmm. Actually, was there any place I could go? You know, hold on a minute. Was there another place I can go here? Yeah, the courtyard. We haven't really examined this place yet. I wonder who's gonna be here. So, a court is where the murder occurred. At least that's what we see right here. And this is where a murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really going to defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitments. Well, in that case, I've got to be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out of its own. Oh, Roger, sir. I know exactly what you're saying. You're very well, detective. Thankfully, his diarrhea of the mouth is permanent. Well, that was a very disgusting imagery, but then again, whatever. Uh, let's see what uh, good old Gumshoe has to say about the whole murder. The victim is a famous picture book author, Miss Elise Donim. Her entire past, up until she won that writing award last year, is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from the stab to the back of the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing about that. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. A two-story building? That would be about the same height as the room in, in the front of us, correct? Hey, you're right! Wait, go, Mr. Edgeworth! 
That just happens to be the room that Lisa Le at least Dodin was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword? Possibly. I don't know, we got the autopsy report. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's see here. Now that detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay! Let's take a look at the map. This should help clear things up a teeny bit. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, she and Maya Fay headed to the Inner Temple right after dinner was finished. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, come on, speed up the animation a little bit. Come on. Uh, they're all... I don't know why they had to show us that. I mean, uh, at 10 p.m., after ringing the bell, the bell for lights out, Iris went to the Inner Temple. Right. Okay. When she got there, Bikini had to, had to her take over while she went to Hazakura Temple. Because she had a bad back or whatever. Oh, God. Okay. After taking a hot bath to sue her back... That's what happened. Sister Bikini witnessed a murder in a courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. Eh, we'll get it. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm uh, pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught him cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court to roll a defensive lawyer. However, I would be quite unhappy if I came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why, but I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be that judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face even after such a long absence. Uh, but the judge is kind of forgetful. I mean, maybe he will know. He knows Edgeworth. Edgeworth is famous. So am I. I was told as Phoenix, but, uh, he still forgets. Well, that's why I requested another judge preside over the case. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Uh, yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone, uh, someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pull a few strings and arrange for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Now, why would Edgeworth even ask, then, who the prosecutor was going to be tomorrow? Or maybe he was just curious. He's like, oh, hey, who's the prosecutor going to be? Oh, no, screw it. I have my own. Eh, who knows. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? Now, according to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the Acolytes. It's on the other side of the Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs of, on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Aw, oh, see, even Edgeworth is a little, you know... He has a heart. Although sometimes it comes off as a little bit of a cold-hearted, but you know, he helps us out. Uh, here's the autopsy report, so... Her death was between 10 or 11, uh, cause loss of blood from stab in the back. Body fell 10 feet after death. Okay. So, there's that. Uh, now before I head out, actually... Let's see if we can examine a few, a few, a few things here. We got, um... What about the sword itself? The murder weapon, I guess. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon? Sure is. It's called a Shishishito. I think. I had to look that up again. By the way, nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood? Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the sh Shishishito, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon? What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it was for Wright? 
Is this what it's like to be a defense lawyer? Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. Yeah, I mean, maybe Edgeworth can finally see why Phoenix is always stressed out or why he's passionate to save his defendants, you know? It's like, he has to go through a lot of crap, but, you know, it's his job. Any defense attorney's job, maybe even in real life. Uh, okay, let's, uh, take a look at his staff. I totally forgot it was here. Hmm. What's this? Looks like a wizard staff. Oh, God, really, Edgeworth? That belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Donim. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh, yeah! Oh, listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes? What? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Thank you for sharing that very vital piece of information, Gumshoe. Although, I would say I think any kid would want to be a wizard when they're younger, especially kids nowadays or, you know, a couple years back because, you know, they grew up with the Harry Potter movies. Shoot. Well, I I'm 21 as it is, and I, I want to be a wizard just because of watching those movies and reading the books. Looks awesome. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it. Well... Like I said, thank you for that information. The staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there, were there any on it? Uh, just the victims. Okay. Well, I think that is that, then. Um, Alright. I think that's all we can do here at the moment, because... Uh, let me check something real quick. Yeah, once the courtyard, once the main gate. The thing is, we can't go. Yeah, we could go to the um, suspension bridge, couldn't we? Huh. Oh, yeah, let's go to the suspension bridge. Maybe there's someone here. Nope. Damn it, where the hell do we go then? Ah, here we go. Detention center. There we go. It's the only place left. We can't really go to the inner temple because, well. Look at the bridge. It's out. It's going to be out for... They said they're not going to be able to have an, a... Um, not be able to reach Maya for at least another day. So, we really can't do anything. Oh! Mr. Edgeworth! I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes, thank you. Oh, Well, is there anything we can talk to her about? Yeah, the Inner Temple. Edgeworth did say he wanted to learn more about it. And I think after that, we might actually have more information. I mean, might, I think we have the, enough, um... I think we have enough, uh... Evidence or information to actually break, break that cyclock. Uh, yeah, so let's we'll go ahead and talk about the Inner Temple here. I just finished speaking with the head known as the Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said that she saw you stab Miss Elise Donan with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Faye began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never even went to the Inner Temple. And yet... Sister Bikini says she met you there at the Inner Temple that very night. But I... I didn't go there! I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night! Hmm. Looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth here. wonder if I find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. Every time I hear that, it's like, Damn it, Edgeworth! No! It's not a psycho lock, it's psych lock. But then, well, you know, he's new to this stuff, you know, he doesn't know anything about spiritual powers. As he said, I'm a, my, I'm a man of science. Well, there goes your science out the door. And I, I don't even know, like, even personally, I don't even know where I find myself. I mean, I, I guess I would say, like, I, I, you know, I like seeing scientific facts, but, you know, I still have belief in other stuff as, as well, you know, and you gotta have faith, at least for me. 
I gotta have faith in other stuff, so... Eh, personal opinion. Everyone's different. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and break the psych lock, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and save that for next time, guys, and, uh... Maybe we'll be able to finish up this investigation next time. Yeah, we'll see how things go. In any case, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. See you guys later.